producer tonight. Yo. All right. So now we're live on YouTube too, right? We are. Ooh. People can nice. hear us. So. All right. That Hello. is very cool. Hello, world. Welcome to the second Truth live stream featuring Bondage and DID, something which you usually don't see in the game Didnapper. Um, so it's a very special live stream. <laughs> I thought we'd mix it up a bit. <laughs> yeah, just throw you a fastball, or I don't know how baseball works. <laughs> All right. What an odd music choice for the start of a stream. <laughs> it's random. <laughs> Truly. <laughs> yeah, so last time... Our we... host. Wait, oh, let's yeah. present ourselves maybe quickly. Yeah, to we'll present ourselves. Yeah. No, um, you go first. Oh. Our okay. host goes first. Well, I'm, yeah. I'm Kendrian. I'm game director and stuff. Designer, main implementer. Or... There's a person who will be showing off the gameplay proper and oh. that means playing the game yeah i'm the person who's streaming yes. any technical difficulties yes. are on me Yay. and bad gameplay <laughs> <laughs> a two <laughs> um i'm pen um i'm the head writer and the only writer actually so I'm the head writer. Mm. <laughs> I, I, other you people help little... with writing too. <laughs> Prologue Ken's is my some dialogue intern. In. <laughs> Prologue's my intern. Ken Unpaid is intern. Also, is also my intern. Um, Weird uh, power dynamics on this team. <laughs> <laughs> and I also do other things. Um, yeah. Neat. Uh, I'm Prologue. People call me Pro for short because they're lazy, and uh, I'm officially the producer, and what that means is that I do everything, and I'm not paid for it. A truly living the dream. And mm. my intern. And I'm also the writing intern, which <laughs> is you know, part intern. of everything. <laughs> uh, I'm Weasel. I do music and sound, among other things. That's what I'm asked to do, but sometimes I do other things, too. <laughs> sometimes the duties expand. Yeah. I, uh, I'm also the official DID Games VTuber. Oh. According to uh, Boulder Frog. I don't know. <laughs> According I don't know, to I some. Thought, this I guy said it in mean. the chat, so it must be true. So it's true. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and last but not least, we have Quad. No. That's... No, I am, yeah. I am, I am on two minutes of sleep. Give me a break here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. All right. <laughs> Pause on two minutes of sleep and that's all you'll know. Mm -hmm. Alright then. Ken, what do we have in store today? I was gonna say first, uh, last time we uh, talked mostly about battle stuff and whatnot. This is kind of a continuation. Like, it's, it's a second trip, like, it's a second... So, but yeah, you don't have to have been there last time to be here, because now we're going into more of the specifically bondage DID stuff. Um, we did showcase some of that last time too, uh, but this time it's more specifically to new features within uh, escape system and some stuff in the camp, interrogations, basically that that aspect of it, rather than the battles, which we focused on last time. Yes. Yes. And um, and at the end of the stream, I believe, <laughs> since we have our pen with us, um, we weren't yeah. sure, we will also hold a short little Q&A session. Sure. She sounds so excited, guys. Sorry, I'm coloring. <laughs> Get those so. questions ready. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh -oh. Setting studio mode and booting up game. All oh, right, maybe turn down the background music here. Yes, professional streamer. That's that's me. That's us. Making we are. We stream for. A living. Yeah. 
I see you're still using my accursed save file. Yes, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry about the character names. That's, uh... We you could change them. No. <laughs> but I haven't. Clearly he cannot. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep up the continuation from last time, you know? <laughs> yeah. Well. Um, we've got a positive reaction to the new camp. Um, so maybe to do a quick reminder. Yeah. Uh, we have new camp tile sets uh, for each different region. Um, all and also different layouts. Um all made by Poir, who is on two minutes of sleep. Mm -hmm. yeah, because of this that I am. <laughs> this is, it's because of the camps, so yeah. appreciate his sacrifice, everybody. Yeah. And... I've not been able to sleep since then. <laughs> For those who weren't here last time, we can now play as other characters. Really shift between them and... Uh... Yeah. And why is why is Aiden tied up? Uh, that's uh, weird. Yeah, she knows what she did. You know. <laughs> <laughs> she knows what she did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can run around as her while she's tied up. Yeah. Um. Oh, GID. Ooh. <laughs> this Whoa. This is the GID stream. No um, way. Bomb, Maybe you guys want to actually like explain, go through the mechanic here. I was, Probably. I was, I was expecting Ken to go through it, but uh, I was trying to give him yeah, some bait, I, but he wasn't taking it. I, I wasn't. <laughs> I'm bad at taking yeah. bait. So <laughs> we've added some more stuff to the camp, uh, in terms of what happens after practice battles. So let's take our tide Aiden and a few others. And pit them up against these people. Don't come near me. Some lovely names. <laughs> Very lovely names. Yes. And here you get to see some of my skills. So in this case, it's not really gonna matter too much if I win or I lose. So I'm just gonna flail around and see what happens. I can help too. Aiden did not start well. <laughs> <laughs> no, she started it with a disadvantage here. Yeah, because she was tied in the overworld, she starts tied in the battle too here. Yep. Now, we already have a request in chat to not let uh, Ken do escape gameplay. Don't worry, guys. Well, uh, who else is gonna do the escape gameplay? Uh, nobody, that is, not an that is not an option. <laughs> We can't let the cat do the escape. Uh, is, is it gonna be better? I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe, honestly, you know. At least losing this fight is fine. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so I'm, two of my characters here got stunned. I feel like that's cheating. It's not great. <laughs> but uh, yeah, now we kind of just stayed and died. And that's how that's how Aiden ended up fighting too. And it, okay, next... so for clarification's sake, um, this is something that only happens in the camp. Um, it's a it's a camp only feature um, when interacting with the mock battles, um, because when you leave camp, all your party members are freed automatically. Mm -hmm. Tragic. Very tragic. Yeah. Uh, so what you can do in this case is you can talk to your party members. As you saw, I can talk to the ones who are tied and ones who are not tied. No. And they're gonna have somewhat different reactions. Hmm. Yes, they all have unique responses and um, actions. Um, for example, here. Yep. Who exactly does what, um, we'll leave up to you to figure out, but they all have their own unique behavior. Yeah. Is that a... Is that a missing face set? Uh, no, it's just... The other one didn't have anything to say. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. 
Eileen is a Very woman of well. keywords. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently she likes Eileen better than Chelsea. Yeah. So some might I guess so. <clears throat> some might tighten your restraints, some might add some, some might uh, not do anything. Is uh, it consistent or is there a bit of randomness to it? Some have a bit of randomness to it. And some are consistent. There is no, the randomness is consistent if there is any. They all have set behaviors. There's no pure randomness. Yeah. You can behave your own way, too. And when you're not the one who's tied, you can choose to do a few things here. Hey! Whatever. I didn't, didn't need your to. help. It's too bad I didn't mean to untie well, her. Too um, late. What? Stay away! Oh yeah, they all have ball gags now. Oh, you're just gonna casually drop that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the best way to drop news. <coughs> That's the thing, though. Okay. We've, we've, we've been working in this for a while, so it's easy to just like, Oh, right, that's the thing we did. <laughs> Do you guys so, know that already? <laughs> with a bit more enthusiasm, every face set now has a regular ball gag to match with um, Celeste's uh, face sets as well. Um, they'll be used at some points in the story, they have use in camp, um, they're in the files. I'm sure plenty of modders will make great use of them too. Um, and Sorry. it also changes their sprite um, <laughs> in a unique Sorry. way, as you can see on Chelsea. Yeah, that didn't used to be shown on sprites before, but now it is. Somebody yes. had to do that. Mm -hmm. Somebody had to do that, and somebody had to do all the face sets, and those were different people, but that's not important. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't kill yourself, Ben. Game's not out yet. You would say that. <laughs> How incredibly selfish of you. I know. You're in for a world of pain! Um... So in this case, I'm actually just gonna surrender on purpose this time. Stand back! Because it wasn't on purpose last time. <laughs> I was gonna say, is that even necessary? <laughs> yeah, it's like, give it a minute, it'll work itself out. <laughs> Losing can be winning in this game. Is. Let's not let's not open that can of worms. I think we all have different <laughs> opinions on that one. A game design nightmare. <laughs> hey. Huh. Um. So Celeste is a bit special in this regard, though, because if you're tied up as her and battle ends or you interact with someone, let's see, you're trying to choose Eileen, maybe. <laughs> We get a little scene here. Yeah. Oh. Thanks. Wait. Huh? <laughs> well. Oh no. Wow, Eileen, that was okay. <laughs> Unnecessary. <laughs> oh, she used she, tape. She's the nice one. She's the nice one, guys. Trust. Yeah. So sometimes you get this uh, semi-randomized escape sequences in camp now too. Mm -hmm. It's going to be so. If you lose any. Yeah. If you're playing as Celine, as if your main character is Celine, Celine, Please. Celeste, I swear to God. <laughs> Please this, no. is, this is why we need to fix the fucking names before you stream. If your main character is Celeste and you lose in a mock battle, you get that scene automatically. But if you switch to her in camp and you go and interact with an untied party member, you get the same scene. Where, for some contrived reason, they'll put you in a forced escape practice. Um, they are semi-random, as Ken said. That being said, each uh, party member also has a, uh, a unique preference for the escape, so there is some consistency to them. Yeah, Eileen 
example doesn't give you a gag, but she does prefer to do extra tight restraints. In this case, I was just... gonna say they can play the game and discover for themselves, but I'm... you can also just tell them, yes. There are plenty others to figure. <laughs> <laughs> yes, five. <laughs> or four. I don't know how to count. That's fine. Uh, probably that's probably that's depends who you count. Um... Right. People said not to have me struggle, so I should just give up. No, okay. Um... <laughs> game over. <Yeah. laughs> Go on, play the game. Yeah. Uh... So, something that's new here, we showcased some of this uh, a couple streams ago, but uh, not a lot of that foot footage was saved, sadly, so we're going through it again a bit here. Oh, uh, right, yeah. Yeah. So, allies have a bit more of a, an active role in escapes now, rather than just standing there and maybe helping you. You can now call them over, you can go up to them and help them with their bindings, stuff like that. Their bindings are a bit more than just rope and a cloth gag. As you see here, Aiden has a ball gag, and they both have AC rope in this case. Let's see. So say you call Aiden over. Let's call for Adele. She doesn't approach me for some reason. I'm blindfolded. Should it be because so. she's too tied? <laughs> yeah. It's probably because her legs are tied, but as a blindfolded person, I can't tell. Uh... Makes sense. Shelms also can't approach for some reason, yeah. Helena's done her due diligence on them. Uh, Great. Eileen went to fucking town, is the translation. Yeah, I'm. Like so much of this. Oh, uh, you just want people to hear the, the grunts. It's well, fine. Because I'm streaming, oh, I'm also bro. hearing a slight echo, which is making this very confusing. <laughs> yeah. Over 2,000 gag sounds in the game. Whoa. Mm -hmm. uh... hmm? Yeah, so here you can also see the ball gag on Aiden's face set. Yeah. Had I not been blindfolded, I could have seen a bit more information with question marks right here, but yeah. At least I can tell she has ball gag. Uh, so this one used to be uh, useless before. It would always tell you that you're too tight to help, but in this case, I should be able to try at least help her a bit with... Uh... Yeah, I was able to remove her gag. Somewhat helpful. Um, I can... Now she can insult you. Oh, she was able to help with the uh, blindfolds. You um, can do Aiden things now. Of course. Um. Bad fox. Yeah. So basically, you can interact a bit more with your allies if you're able to get over to them and or you're able to get them to come over to you. Uh, by helping them, it can become easier for them to help you back. For example, if they had been blindfolded and you ask them to help you, they might mess up and just make things worse. In which case, you know, you might want to help them with a blindfold first. Stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Or depending on the type of player you are, maybe that's exactly what you wanted. Perhaps. Maybe you want to take the risk. Maybe you don't have the time to... Uh, try to get their blindfold first. There are a lot of things coming to play here. Uh, my distraction meter is super high now, so I'm just gonna wait a bit, which lowers that more than normal. Actually, I'm gonna have her help me a bit more first. That does not help me much. Oh, her torso bindings are 75%. No wonder she doesn't help me much. So yeah, there's another layer to this. I didn't think that would be... No, fuck. <laughs> so we'll... No. 
Yeah, what were you saying? I, as I, I was gonna say, while while Kendrian is busy fighting his own creation, um, this these new ally interaction features open up a whole new way of like interacting with the escape environment and honestly different styles of escape that just really weren't possible before. Like you can get, if you really want to focus on that, you can get through most of a tie by just interacting with your allies. Um, and of course with the warden and of course you can always just struggle. Um, so it adds, it, it adds a lot of depth and we're quite happy with how it turned out. Yeah. And sometimes allies can be very useless, and sometimes they can be making everything super easy. But that's something that you kind of have to find out by interacting with them, or just trying to observe their situation, etc. Like, if you're tied to a pole and an ally is tied to a pole, they're not going to be able to come over to you and help you. They're pretty useless in that case. Which can happen in some cases. In yes, combat, I know you like making things useless in the escapes. Um, that's another thing. I think we've managed largely to keep things additive in terms of uh, mods like Overkill. I don't think we've overlapped too much in what we add. So hopefully after this update is out, those People can then experience both. Um, mm -hmm. I'm such a good speaker today. Should I just give this one up and start another one? I... You're you're the one playing. If you feel that that is best, I probably but, should. Yeah. yeah, I'll just give this one up so we can try another variant. Uh, oh yeah, the allies that were tied with me were the ones who were already tied up in camp, so they're also free now. So say, for example, you go into a mock battle with Celeste as your party leader, mm -hmm. and you lose. We can see that all the people you had in your party end up with you, and the escape. Yeah. In this case, let's have everyone solo Kai. But uh, for some reason, we just, you know, we just lose. How unfortunate. Yeah, what an unfortunate circumstance. Oh, that might that actually hands. happen. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm playing, that might happen. Foolish. Sorry, frowny face. Yeah. Strong boss fight. Yeah, it's it's strong power. Incorrect. Yeah. So there's also a lot more mixing and matching possible now. You don't really see it here, but like you could have a torso being tape while feet are rope, etc. Mixing and matching that wasn't possible before. Um. Now we get to watch Ken show off his gameplay skills. Yeah! This is what everyone came for. Yeah. I mean... Wow. I... <laughs> thank, you. thank you, Kai. Let me see if I can call for Helene. Doesn't understand With me. a tape gag? You think that's gonna work? I can hope. Oh, it's level 7. Yeah, that's probably, uh... Probably a long shot, but... Okay, can I just mm. cheat it off? Because I want to show you something. If, if it's... No. <laughs> oh yeah, I need to lower the, the opacity on the redness there. The cheating oh, begins. Shit. Oh god. The cheating begins. <laughs> yes, she has no more skin. Oh Street no! <laughs> oh, yeah. So I lean since she's blindfolded. She has a chance of not being able to find me. <laughs> I 
I do like how oh, it's in with her pathfinding, too. <laughs> <laughs> so the closer they are, the more likely it is that they'll find you if they're blindfolded, but, uh... I guess just just... <laughs> try, yeah, try, try Liliana, since she's closer. No. Oh, that was close. Oh, that was so close. <laughs> try somebody who's closer. I mean, they're not blindfolded, so they can find me. Um... Oh, isn't that no? Isn't Aiden? Oh, Aiden is far away, so she, she's guaranteed to not find me. Oh, try. I can I can try it anyway. Try it anyway. Try it anyway. <laughs> Immediately <laughs> walks in the wall. Average <laughs> average Aiden L. Mm -hmm. Actually, let me. All for. Uh... Call for Franny face. Let's see, do you have any useful items? No, she doesn't. Okay. Yeah, kick her, that'll help. Yeah, I can see here that she has a very high I'm strictness, sure. so charming her isn't gonna do much. No way. That that, that wouldn't work on Kai here. <laughs> I can try. Yep, no, that's <laughs> That checks no out. way! Who could have seen this coming? Her strictness did go down, though. <laughs> yeah. She took. I, I see you've decided to just not do it. Yeah, I figured. You know, I don't want to drag it out too long. Uh. So escape practice. Also, now we're in a building. So now it's actually possible to do a uh, suspension in here. Yay! A very highly requested feature. Yes. Yes. Some camps have buildings. Some still have the tents, and you still can't do it in the tents. Pretty sure I also made we it so that you can that hill. have a pole tie here as well. Let's see your restraints. It, it's somewhere, I think. Just oh, it's not available when I have a suspension. Let's see if I were to change back to say a frog tie. That's not what I do. I'm back. <laughs> he gave up. Back. He gave up? Wow. Yeah, oh, he just gave up. This doesn't oh. shock <laughs> me. So, yeah. Just pull. I I do like that Kai brought in a pole. Yeah. <laughs> it's very useful. <laughs> it comes in handy. <laughs> a few more options there, you can set like what restraints should be on your allies. Stuff like that. Oh, I lean be the guard, she's much nicer. Yes, be my cat. So as you can see, there's more of a mix and match of restraints here. Oh, the code, like the sound code for when you fall from a suspension is also different now, so it's not as annoying. <laughs> there's stuff like, if you're it's gagged, funny. you actually make less noise, so sometimes if you fall, you actually want to be gagged for that. Stuff like we need that. to make a mod where the, the noise if you fall is just the pipe falling noise. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shame we're in a stage channel because I have three of those in my soundboard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so since I'm gagged, she's not gonna come in. I'm sure a lot of people doing these game challenges are gonna be happy with that change. Are you actually going to play through this escape? He's considering this. I am. <laughs> oh, fuck. I forgot I had For those wondering how how a gag affects um, the sound made when you fall, um, when you fall, you typically shout or scream because it hurts, um, and thus having something blocking your mouth makes you make less noise. Yeah. It's not that the gag cushions you or something, it's just... Yeah. 
No, if anything, depending <laughs> on the gag, it could very well break your jaw. Yeah, well, you're gonna bite your tongue and fucking die, uh, yeah. Fine. It's a good thing this is a game. <laughs> this, is, this is a great stream, guys. Don't, don't do this IRL. <laughs> you, you don't, do, don't do this at home. Actually, the idea is dangerous. Yeah, so this time I... You can learn all about it in our safety channel. <gasps> I don't think we have a card for um, not for for what what kind of gag is safe to wear for when you fall from a suspension. <laughs> I don't I know. No, you're right. We, 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 should, we should get higher on that right now. Yeah, you're right. Uh, come on, Eileen, I need you. Oh, here she is. Oh, you fell. Oh, she helped, kind of, right? Or... No, but... It was barely lower. Average Eileen. <laughs> Average Eileen interaction. Come and help me. So as you can see, Ken has resorted to interacting with NPCs only because the game is too hard. <laughs> which is a valid option if you have massive skill issues. Ouch. We do not recommend having skill issues though. <laughs> this is not the optimal way to play the game. You're just doing it for the stream, right? Eileen really came in and just called you kind of cringe. <laughs> <laughs> she would. <laughs> Celeste, this is like really cringe. <laughs> uh, am I seriously gonna be this one? I'm gonna check the next shit. Okay, I, I, I can do this. Mm -hmm. I just I have to Okay, everybody left Andrew and concentrate. There we go. Mm -hmm. Proud of you. Come on, Chelsea. Uh, help me. Yes, there will be a lot. How about you help her instead? She doesn't understand me because of the gag. You understand me, Liana. Oh yeah, everyone has an AC gag now as well. In the portraits. In addition to the normal gag. Seems a bit overkill for her, but sure. Yeah, she's... <laughs> Did somebody say overkill? <laughs> oh, no, uh, blue scares and trash, blue squares. Am I promoting the wrong thing? <laughs> yeah, so my gag is just Those too effective. 21. Nobody understands what I'm saying. Yeah, if only you engaged with the gameplay system. If only I'd actually checked what settings I used. I would have probably chosen the less effective gag. Oh yeah, this is not coming off. <laughs> not in 16 minutes. Oh, this is just sad. Well, she lowered my gag level, so that's something. It's technically an improvement. Yeah, there are three different tape gags. Strip. Several strips and then wrap, so. A little bit of everything. Yeah. and streams his own game, proceeds to get his ass kicked. Well, at least I still have him. She hasn't confiscated my sharp rocks, so maybe I should just... Okay, never mind. <laughs> it's the little victories <laughs> in life. At least you have a friend. <laughs> what will you name your sharp rock? <laughs> Failure. Celeste. <laughs> Failure? <laughs> That's, uh... No boy. <laughs> We just name just taking a Dwayne. dark turn. Dwayne. I'm just gonna wait. <laughs> I was 
kind of banking her on Eileen helping me, and she just refused. So it just goes to show. Don't give Eileen rope. <laughs> play better than Kendrian. And play get better than Kendrian. Don't get filtered in your own game. <laughs> <laughs> Part of me kind of wants to show a randomized thing for enemies as well, like being captured yeah, by enemies. by all means. That but is that's... under the umbrella of DID. Yes, there is a charming tape... minigame now. Does the tape escape bar's color mean they have the same effects as AC rope? Yeah, right? They it do, does. yeah. Yeah. They're evil tape. It's evil tape, yeah. Not normal tape. <laughs> Typically, they're AC plus. That makes sense. Now we haven't we haven't patched in a farming simulator just yet, but that maybe maybe we'll add it later. Who knows? <laughs> we won't. <laughs> There were many talks about fishing and cooking, um, but a couple of people got uh, beat up during that conversation, so it's probably not happening. I'm gonna say this on stream right now while everyone is listening. Fishing mini games are cringe, actually. You got a lot of opinions for somebody who slept two minutes. Yeah, yeah, I'm. I am unrestrained, unshackled. <laughs> An unfish. That's what I might actually be is here. Okay, so explain what you went ahead and did. For I lost two you. some bandits. That's no that's basically what I did. And I'm why? Using this stream. Uh, in order to showcase that in this case for example you see not all of my allies are in here we're missing who are we missing liliana so liliana has been taken elsewhere and this one especially it's random who is with you and who isn't oh no it hey she was able to get over here despite being blindfolded Uh... Damn it, one percent down. Yeah, my wrists are probably just too tight. So, how tied you are also affects then how easily you can help them or they can help you. So if her, if she's tied very tightly, she can't help you much. In this case, it seems like I'm tied more than her, so... 6% Eileen, are you serious? I don't know. So, yeah, no, okay, I'm just gonna do the last part myself. You can do this. Okay. I, I did it. Kai, you're... Oh. Her legs are bound. Damn it. Um... Chelms. Now her legs are also bound. Did I call for the one who was able to come over? Aiden. Her too. Okay. Nice. <laughs> the one person who could come over is blindfolded. Uh... Take the chance again, then. Nope. Okay. Tragic fate. Yeah, ha. That was barely. No way. Is this the Didnapper roguelike everybody's talking about? <laughs> Randomized escape situations <laughs> and just just losing and the, something about losing is fun? Ah, yeah. uh, shit. Her blindfold made her mess up, so her, she tightened my legs instead. Move over, Hades, too. <laughs> 
Um, You're making Hades too, Woody. Yeah, they are. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. But um, Hades 1 came out like six months ago. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm, okay. It sure did, yeah. buddy. Sure. Um. Yeah, no, okay. On the, on the bright side, while Ken sucks, we get to listen to this amazing track. Yeah. The one that never gets old. Pe <laughs> people have not heard it enough. <laughs> I bet you do combat. The, the solution to that, Wombat, is doing like Pawn, sleeping two minutes per night. You don't have yeah. the time to dream. <laughs> Wouldn't even finish the track. When I leave, I don't want to struggle on my own. There we go. Why are you calling over the person who has the strictest gag and a blindfold? Uh, because the legs of the others are tied. That is so sad. She's the only one who can come over here. So here, for example, this is an example of what you were talking about earlier. Yeah. Um, because she's blindfolded, she tightened your wrist stains by accident. Yeah. Um, and how about you untie yourself? Um, Just um, untie yourself, five head. No. <laughs> um, this is gambling. It is. We do not... We do not condone gambling. Except in the not casino and do that with you. Okay, she's just making things first. She really is just making things first. Um. I'm helping her. Um. Okay, I think so we I used think... all of our stream luck last time on the Maiden Marathon. I think so. <laughs> We will be going back to the Maiden Marathon um, after this, because that is also technically D.I.D., um, and, um... I have to admit, cleanser. it was very fun. It is. And we don't need a padded cleanser from this track and this... Uh, uh, <laughs> this gameplay loop. Um, Weasel, you're making a special track for the Maiden Marathon, right? That was the plan. Oh, wait, so. really? That was a joke. Yep. Fuck. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's happening. I was joking. <laughs> It's not the top of the list, but it's not the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well. Bye, Celeste. <laughs> it's yeah. been fun. We all ended up tied in the end. That's so cool. <laughs> Gang's all here. Gang's all here. Um... Should I just skip on to the next thing then, probably? Yes, I think that's a good idea. No, let's keep doing this. We got time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, another thing that we've been touching up a bit is the interrogations. Um, so, as you can see here now, I don't know if my mouse is going to show up on screen, I don't think it is. Oh, okay. Well, you can see the meters on the left there. There's now a trustworthiness meter there. Which, the goal is to have that one reach the top. That's only when you can demand an answer and be sure that you uh, get a truthful one. Uh, in truth? order, Yeah, truth. Uh, in order to get that to go up, uh, you need to meet certain conditions, which is going to depend on who you're interrogating and why. So, in this case, Faraja has anger, dignity, and embarrassment. Others might have other meters that are more relevant to their character. I think she's the only one with a dignity meter, for example. Uh, and now, say I try to tickle her, it's gonna tell me how that affected her. So, Trustworthiness actually went down by three. Dignity went up because she's not tickly. She was she was like, huh, that that doesn't work on me. You don't have that weapon. And so 
Yeah, that might not as well. If I slap her though, I'm gonna get angry, which apparently increases her trustworthiness. That's a bit of a hint. She also loses dignity. Naturally. Um, similarly, having different items can change things up. I, uh, say if I remove her jacket, that's gonna increase her trustworthiness a lot. She really, she really likes her jacket. I could see that. It was custom tailored, as she says. It is a very nice jacket. It is. I'm like, how much can I do here without being kicked off of YouTube? Uh, <laughs> I just wanted to... Somebody asked in the YouTube chat if we've ever thought of actually making voiceover for at least the main quests. I assume you mean, like, full voice acting? Um, Probably. In which case... It, that would just be way too costly for us and like time consuming and um so yeah please, no. voice please like, don't uh, do it one, one, <laughs> one hundred thousand lines which is... yeah there, this this <laughs> game has a lot of dialogue I, I should know I wrote it all um and it would just it would be a lot it would be a lot so it, it, it would, would, it would kill Weasel. It would. It would. Ki oh, it would kill <laughs> several people. Um, it would kill several of us. <laughs> I think. I. Th I mean. I think we can. If we. If you really want full voice acting, we could probably have Poa voice every character and read everything out. I would um, also keep myself. That's. That's. that's, that's fine. We can do a group suicide. It's fine. Aww, that's so cute. Group suicide, besties. Uh. So you see, before, uh, when I tickled her, that didn't work, but now that I've dressed her a bit more, the embarrassment from it makes it work what a lot we... more. Hmm? What is she even doing? She's wearing purple panties and a red bra. Uh, that's not her bra. Yeah, she's, she's not. She's a slave, though. She's You're not even gonna fashion. color coordinate your underwear. Oh, okay. <laughs> my bad. My bad. I think that. <laughs> She's a bandit, not a heathen. <laughs> oh, okay, good. Thank God. Yeah, so. You can write some dialogue about that if you want. So, having different uh, items applied, etc., can make. It can change how these work. So, Tickle didn't work in the beginning, but now that situation has changed. You can see it's very effective. And there we have it, 100%. Then I'm finally able to just demand an answer. Or I can just keep going. That's, that's also an option. Yeah, so in her case, oh, disclaimer, this is all subject to change the details of what we're showing, just to be clear. So someone asking before if this is a dev stream. Yes, this is development yeah. stuff. This is closed beta stuff. Yeah, it's not in the game. Yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna yeet myself out of this before we tell the story scene. Or your stuff is finished. Okay. What should I- what kind of food should I order, buddy? Should I let chat decide what kind of food I order? No, you probably That's shouldn't. Dangerous okay, let's, sure. let's, let's be honest, let's not do that. You can ask them for suggestions, but I don't think you should- I order <laughs> for Liner. Let me just- hold on. I feel like that sums it up pretty good. Chinese pizza Popeyes. Get cat food. <laughs> oh, no, you should not ask chat. <laughs> I'm doing a poll, okay? They have to vote on the options. Um, join Discord if you want to. Yeah, you have to. Feed Pendragon. You have good, to, good. If you want to feed me, you have to join Discord. Good time to plug the Discord. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, those watching this on YouTube, we're also streaming this in Discord, and we have a pretty big Discord community, I would say. Yes. 
So what are we doing in the desert now? Um, just considering getting captured here too, but I feel like we've kind of played that card a couple times already. Mm. <laughs> so don't say. Maybe we should just do the Maiden Marathon. I think we can show off the Maiden Marathon once. <sighs> I'm pretty sure. Distracting, no. distracting all of chat. Damn, 23 hours left? <laughs> That's is the default. <laughs> this is for lunch tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna like the... Chinese so that it goes away on my screen. <laughs> I had wing stop. Oh, it didn't. Oh well. All right. So, what's the maiden marathon? The maiden marathon is the brainchild of too little sleep. No way. I wouldn't exactly know anything about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pen, why don't you explain the married marathon and your what? your 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 opinion on it and how it changed after you saw it for the first time, how life changing it is. Okay, well it's um so it's a funny race thing where you gamble on who can make it to the finish line first. And when I first when Kendrian first showed it to me, I said, Kendrian, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why are you wasting your time on this garbage instead of finishing the game? And then he showed it to me, and I was like, I take it back. This is amazing. That's how most dev meetings go, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, it looks like Chinese wins, so I'm going to order Chinese now. What kind of Chinese, though? You have to join Patreon to I'm not doing another poll. That. I am not doing another <laughs> poll for which kind of Chinese. Nice try. <laughs> Patreon <Anyone>? poll. <laughs> Patreon poll on what kind of Chinese I should order. <laughs> you people are missing out. Join, <laughs> join today. Smooth plug there. <laughs> yeah. Ken is not Chinese, but good try. Off they go. Yeah, so I chose See, the music's not bad, but it could be better. <laughs> Naughty's destroying, but taking a non ideal path. Yeah. Clearly, it doesn't matter. Naughty is sometimes mm -hmm. a bit too good at this. Got a bit tired. <laughs> Imagine people watching getting an email notification about for a Patreon poll about lunch. <laughs> What should I order? <laughs> I feel like that's how you lose a lot of patrons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks like you picked they the wrong... They all want me to eat... Oh, they want she's me coming to in here. No, she's... Coming in last. Oh, yeah. You people right. are insane. What kind of fetish is that? Pet play? Making, making a girl eat cat food. No, I don't think that's yeah. pet play. No, I I'm pretty sure that's pet play. I don't know. <laughs> in, in I don't know about case? that. Yeah, it, was, it was a mistake oh. having Liana do it. Who should I do it instead? Eileen. Eileen. Eileen for, as revenge for what she did to the party earlier. I think that's good. Fair enough. That, is, that was pretty. <laughs> Who's yeah. cringe now? Who's, Who's cringe, cringe <laughs> now, orange girl? <laughs> uh, we hold crutches here. She's doing pretty well. Okay, well, maybe we spoke too soon. <laughs> Oh, She's just put a thorn in my side this entire stream. <laughs> Truly. Holy shit, she's actually gonna win. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but I think it may be Naughty oh. is gonna... Oh wait, here comes Naughty again. <laughs> yeah, here's where she makes her move. No. <laughs> the thing with Maiden Marathon, it's not over till it's over. <laughs> That's Come on, Eileen, one you way to do it. it. Do it. Oh yeah. That was really close. <laughs> Almost lost. Anyways, if you have too much gold in the game, which uh, with next update you probably won't anymore, um, this is a good way to blow it all and get a little bit of a dopamine at the same time. Mm -hmm. Next update, the IRS is coming after you. 
<laughs> then we're we're adding the IRS into the next update, so you will have Yo, no more money. <laughs> IRS, hell yeah. <laughs> Not an idea for a side quest with caveat. You didn't pay your taxes. <laughs> Would the fucking tax collectors <laughs> come? Yeah. You you go back to Belia and Celeste finds that her house has been repossessed. I mean it should. <laughs> it, honestly it should. <laughs> she hasn't been paying her property tax. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Celeste sucks ass. She's wearing armor in her defense. Well, maybe she shouldn't. Yeah, maybe she shouldn't. Not very aerodynamic. I saw a question go by earlier by from Boulder. Um, will we ever be adding party member interrogations? Who wants to answer? No. <laughs> and also, well, have it. maybe. Here's the thi okay. All right. Here's the reason. Um, I, I hate, I hate writing the interrogation dialogue. It's the worst part of my life. Um, I despise it with every fiber of my being. I would rather do anything else. She, she, she just said it's the worst part of her life and she just did taxes. So you know it's bad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, in conclusion. It's also a lot of work. It's a lot it's of a writing. lot of work, lo and that I'm, as said, we said, the only writer, and I only have this one little intern who helps me. Hi. Um. So we took the Starfield approach to this, and we were like, if they want it, <laughs> no, don't say that. <laughs> no. <laughs> don't say no. that. Because Ken. Mm-hmm. Kendrian. Yeah. You. You've. You've shared, like, the, the interrogation assets, right? I have interrogation mm -hmm. assets, and I set up yes. code so that people can make their own interrogations if they... So, it's a lot of work. We don't really have the time for that, unfortunately, because the rest of the fucking game needs to be made. And, yeah, it's... If it's not exactly your cup of tea, it's really painful to write, um, having done a little bit of something like that before. Like um, so... To that. Yeah, a lot of the visual assets and the code is already in place and everything. Um, feel free to do it, lol. <laughs> I, there's no, there's no eloquent way to put it. I'm afraid. <laughs> Had we been a bigger team with a bigger budget, we might have been able to have someone yes. specifically for that. But mm -hmm. can we also bet on Naughty? No, you cannot bet on the NPCs, unfortunately. <laughs> That's how it originally started, actually. It was four NPCs racing, and we you yes. picked which one you thought was going to win. And then we the were like... party member was my was my idea. <laughs> it also takes into account some of the party member's stats uh, in a mysterious formula that you will have to guess or data mine to figure out. Yeah. So so surprisingly, if you wish you could other. <laughs> you can vote on my dinner. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna post some proof that I that I did in fact order Chinese. Hold on. <laughs> I just want everybody to know. Are you gonna that. dox yourself somehow by accident? No, I'm I not gonna dox myself. Are you kidding me? It's it a coming. Chinese. It's a Chinese restaurant. It has the most generic ass name ever. Oh. There are 50 million different Chinese restaurants with this Somebody name. No. Yeah, right. Yes, I'm not even hell. Proof. Hey. China Kitchen, okay, yeah, sure. China Kitchen. <laughs> yeah, if you Google China Kitchen, I'm sh I don't think you'll be able to figure out which one I ordered from. Let me see. China Kitchen. Uh, that's a lot. That's many. <laughs> found it. No, Beijing. Oh, he found me. <laughs> I guess I'm... Penn was Chinese after all, huh? <laughs> it could be it could be anywhere from Florida to Washington to <laughs> Beijing. <laughs> it's not in Florida. Wait, is that what's the name of the city? Chinese? What? <laughs> yeah, that is that is so Japan as well. Oh yeah, that uh, it could be mm. Japan everywhere. Damn, Indiana. Yeah. 
I'm in, I'm offended that you think I live in Indiana. <laughs> All right. Um, I think that about covers the main things we wanted to show off, right? Yeah. We're moving on to the. I was hoping the question. I, would, I think. <laughs> I was hoping I was going to win a bit more, so we could see that there's I mean, also a special. You can keep price playing while we while we do the Q and A. That's true. Yeah, this is that's an Alabama. option. Background. That's more like it. <laughs> it's it's good background noise. It's a fun it's a fun video. I don't think I want to go to the China um, kitchen in Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, what you um, if you want. He should make them get a special prize if they finish in last too many times. What a fucking bulk. Sorry. Um. Right. Um. I think that concludes all the main things we wanted to cover regarding the new um, bondage features. Obviously, there's all the new fucking story and side quests, which we are not going to show um, on stream because that would be massive spoilers. And they all contain some kind of bondage, as you've come to expect. Um, but in terms of these like side features, uh, we really hope that the new camp interactions um, will well be fun to play with. And I think we're going to move on to the Q and A now, uh, while Ken uh, here tries to desperately win Maiden Marathon by losing all my money because this is my save file. So what you got all the money so, for? Let's let us begin, Ben. Me? Hello. Yes. What's uh, everybody? Um. <clears throat> yeah. Questions, comments, concerns. Uh. We won't respond. You can to actually concerns. take your concerns elsewhere. What <laughs> did I order specifically? I <laughs> I ordered um a pork fried rice, um an egg roll. And um, an order of Chinese donuts. That's acceptable. Yeah. Uh, with the revamp of the alley system in escapes, is it possible to free them before Celeste? I don't know. Ken. Is it? <laughs> uh, sorry, I didn't see the qu or I didn't hear the question. The qu the question is, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> um, <laughs> the, <laughs> the question is, uh, with the revamp of the alley system in escapes, is it possible to free them before Celeste? I would imagine not, but uh no it's not I don't think you can that's true you can't loosen yeah. their wrists right it's yeah. just like torso and you can't loosen their wrist you can oh, loosen... okay. Oh, okay you can loosen other things but yeah you can't undo their wrists okay um the fuck are chinese donuts it's just like a sugar it's just like little like donut holes with that are covered in sugar basically and they're like fried dough and they're really like fluffy and good um where did I write? Learn to write peak fiction. Uh, <laughs> Practice is the answer. The school of the college, the university of DID games. Mm -hmm. Um, where we teach you to keep writing and figure it out yourself, because that uh, is how <laughs> most arts goes. Um, yeah. No. I'm. Uh, <laughs> um. I don't even know which character you picked because you're so far off screen. <laughs> when Ken going to write light novel? Um, I d I did write a novel, um, but I don't know if it's appropriate for me to plug it here. <laughs> no, go ahead. It's not strictly speaking a light novel because we are not in Japan. But well, it's not a light novel, but it is a novel that is available to read for free. It has nothing to do with Didnapper, but since you asked, I'm just gonna I'm gonna dump it in the chat. Boink, boink. Endless plugs. Yeah. Um, it's a good one. <laughs> it's a good one. You haven't read it. Shut up. Um, I have. I know that there. Yes, I see that there. I, I know that there are comments and ask questions in YouTube. I'm looking. Um, 
Can you give us the theme of your next project? Kidnapping, slavery, consensual, and wholesome like bonds. Is it going to be darker or a lighter story? Any details like that? At um, the moment, we are not going to be talking too much about our next yeah, project. Uh, mostly not. just to control expectations. We'll get there when we get there, is the answer. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um... Oh, did I? Oh. Um, anyway, moving on. <clears throat> um, can we watch Maiden Marathon without participating? No. That's, that's not a possible at the moment, yeah. Like, just be a spectator, don't bet on it. <laughs> oh, sorry. No, I, missed, to bet. I missed one. What takes priority on the writing? The main storyline or the lore slash world building? Um, well, I mean, in an ideal world, the lore slash world building would be done first, I guess. Um, but that wasn't exactly... Not necessarily. No? That um... wasn't exactly how it happened. Prologue did most of that. Yeah, we have a guy for that. Yeah. Yeah, that was my original job, but believe it or not... Um, what was what was the exact question? Because okay, the main storyline or world. Okay, um, I mean, every author is going to have a different approach, and all of them are valid. Um, you don't need to have super in-depth lore and world building to be able to write a compelling story. Um, in the case of a big project like Didnapper, though, it does help to have a coherent setting that is like, settled on ideally early, so you can, like, really involve different parts of your world even before you've gotten to write about them. Um, we didn't necessarily have that luxury. Um, as some of you are familiar, uh, Didnapper's, um, Didnapper's, like, development cycle was pretty turbulent, so a lot of stuff was done out of order and maybe in ways we wouldn't have wanted to. Um... But yeah. For sure. Um, are we planning to continue a story like Didnapper 3? So there's not going to be a Didnapper 3. I can tell you that. Um, after this, we're pretty much done with the, the Didnapper f franchise title, I guess. Yeah, brand. So, <clears throat> brand, yeah. Um, there will continue to be... Um, bug fixes for D2, yes. um, and like little, little things here and there, but there won't be any more major content related to the Nebra. Yeah, we're not gonna like yeah. keep adding more chapters or anything. Mm -mm. Yeah. <laughs> um, how did we all meet? That's, um, it's not that interesting of a story. <laughs> um, Discord. <laughs> Discord. <laughs> We all just sort of joined the team at various points because, I don't know, we were like, hey, somebody was like, hey, we need a, you know, programmer. And then some one of, you know, a Pua applied and was like, hello, I'm a programmer. And we were like, all right, hey, yeah, come on in. Yeah, just um, and here, just randomly uh... GM Ken, uh, I just randomly GM Ken was like, hey, uh, I've, I just got RPG Maker. I don't know, if, I don't remember for which reason. And uh, you know what? I'm kind of thinking maybe I could learn it while helping with D2. And uh, and then Ken just hired me without telling me. And then I was just there. Mm. Yeah. That, that sounds roughly yeah. like my kind of managing, yeah. Um, Weasel sent Ken an email. No one asks for Weasel, he just appears. Yeah, he just, he, just, he did not ask for Weasel. Weasel appeared. <laughs> there was no um, call for music. He asked, sent Ken an email, was like, hello, do you need some music? And Ken was like, sure. And then Ken hired Weasel. Without um, consulting with the rest of the team. Without consulting with the rest of the team. That's uh, a very important part of the story. That's how talented it, I am. He didn't need to. Yeah, <laughs> so, it, but, you know, it all worked out. We we like him. We like the weasel. We like the yeah. weasel. Uh, <laughs> how much storage does the game take on the current live version? Oh, that's... Uh, uh, 52 one, gigabytes. A gig and a half or so, I believe. Yeah. Off the top of my head. Sure. 
Uh, uh, um. Yeah, I can just leave. Will you still promote Dnepr merch after you finish with it? Yes, of course. We will still be promoting and like selling our merch. Yes. That's, that's um, not going to go away. Obviously, my question is where, lol? But I mean, as if you stick around on the Discord, then yes, you will maybe get pings oh. for merch once in a while. Yeah. But it's it's um it will still be available. It's available now to purchase on our Redbubble. Um, yes. Um, you can find the link to our store on our website, did.games. Very easy link yeah. to remember. Uh, yeah. It's also currently displayed on screen at the bottom in green. Oh, um, so it is. And yeah. any any support is appreciated. Either that or um, helping us develop, continue to develop uh, through our Patreon. Yeah. Um, with the bandit escape, you noted Liliana wasn't in the cell with the rest of the group. Was that just because the file was at a particular moment in story progress, or is it a mechanical thing, i.e. you have to rescue her elsewhere? I think she was just elsewhere, right? She was elsewhere, yeah. I would have had to yeah. exit the tent and find her somewhere else in the bandit camp. <laughs> elsewhere yeah. in the camp is important. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, not, she's not <laughs> transported to somewhere else. Or, the your, your princess is in another tent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, what's your favorite part about game devving? God. Your... <laughs> Prologue, like, God. That's... You like... <laughs> Grind. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's hard to say. I I think it's, I my, I guess for me, it's, it's really cool to see everything come together. Um... <laughs> like uh so my favorite part about game devving is not devving it's just seeing the finished product well <laughs> no i mean it's that. just that like the feeling like you know when you've like when you're working on individual pieces like it doesn't feel like a game you know but then when you mm -hmm. see everything like all put together and how everything is working together then it yeah. it's really it, it's really cool to see and it's really cool for me to see like my work you know mm -hmm. in a you know like that no that's for sure mm -hmm. so that's, i guess that's my response seeing your ideas come to fruition like what yeah. we're watching on screen <laughs> i think i think what i really like is seeing the positive reception that something i've created gets that's always it's a very unique feeling and it, you don't necessarily get it very often in life um but not only i think interesting criticism is also something that's really valuable and Sometimes, in you know, this day and age, it's something a bit harder to get online, but it's just being able to, like, talk about something you've worked on for a long time, I think is nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, do outfits affect the speed you are in the Maiden Marathon? They do affect it. The stats do so. Yeah, well, yeah, because yeah, it's the stats, and your outfits affect your stats. So yeah. yes, correct. So yeah. the armor for Celeste would really slow her down. <laughs> um, is there any process for filtering which ideas are implemented or scrapped? Yeah, it's called me. Um, nah, I mean me I'm too. Prologue. I'm prologue. That's true. <laughs> um. <laughs> Time it's called a factor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's called ask the producer. Is ask what the producer, it is. and the producer says no. And then if it involves any kind of writing, you ask the writer, and the writer will either tell you to go fuck yourself, or uh... <laughs> to buy her cat food, <laughs> <laughs> or buy me cat food, and I'll think about it. <laughs> <laughs> um. Mm -mm -mm. How messy was D2 code? That was is. Or is. <laughs> I don't think I don't think code is the thing I would criticize. I think overall our own the code we produced is pretty clean and readable. Um, however, the way the game is put together in engine, like with RPG Maker, um, is a honestly it's a fucking shitstorm. And the thing you might not realize is that most games that you've played. Are a fucking shitstorm behind the scenes. You just don't see it. I, I, I wouldn't say most. That, that that that's a stretch. It's really all of them. It's really all of them. You're right. <laughs> yeah. 
Game sounds game development is bullshit. I'm not gonna lie. It's uh, it's several times during development, I, I we come across something that we had no idea about that was in the game for six years, and we're like, how the <laughs> fuck did this get here, and how did nobody notice? Yeah, and that's just yeah. how it is. <laughs> um, oh, so why won't we be? What? I was just gonna say like, oh, so that's what the Lux that actually does. Oh. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Why won't we be continuing the DID franchise? I mean, I assume you mean the Didnapper franchise, and it's because we don't want to. We want to do something else now. <laughs> For some of us, That's it's been like over simple. 10 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah pretty, yeah. yeah. For me, what, it's 20 been... years on Didnapper? 17 yeah. for me. <laughs> I mean... Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I joined late and it's still been five for me. <laughs> um, we just I... want to work on something different for a change, and I think we've explored, especially with Truth, we've kind of explored all we could within um, within the, the current Didnepper universe, and without having to completely go back to the drawing board. I don't think there is much really else to add. Um, yeah, then we'd rather focus yeah. on doing something else something new something fresh yeah mm -hmm. mm. it's uh -huh. it's already one of the biggest games in the <laughs> in the community yeah, it's, so to speak it's, it's, so. A very, it's a very it was a very big game how much money has ken blown on the races in the background while this has been happening uh <laughs> probably <laughs> i would say most of it <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, well, it only costs 100 and I get save. 500 for winning, so... Well, at least you haven't had to cheat to give yourself more money. Yeah. I think I'm roughly back in where I was when I started. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe slightly less. A nice lesson in gambling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um... Would we mind if another team made a continuation to D2? Um, uh, that's, uh, I, it would depend, I think. not, is the thing. I, it depends, um, it's, because there's a lot of, there's a lot of, like, work that we would rather, you know, you not take. Um, that being said, the Dead Napper universe isn't really something that's necessarily established, and it's never stopped developers from doing, like, Easter eggs or whatever. Yeah. Um, Preferably not, is the current stance. Um, but, like, if you did, if, it's not like we could stop you. I mean, that it's like, if somebody, we'd love to, <laughs> if somebody just shows up on our doorstep and has, like, a whole fucking demo for a Didnapper spiritual, like, successor. Well, that already exists with, like, a, you know, a fan-made D, a Didnapper 3 or whatever. Um, I'd be interested in talking about it, I suppose, at the very least. Although, you know... Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and say that it's nice having inspirations and stuff, but you shouldn't limit yourself to other people's works and really let your own ideas shine. I think that's where you get the most satisfaction as a creative, usually. Yeah. If you, want to work on, if you want to work on Dinnapper, um, you can, I, I'd suggest just sticking to mods. Yeah. You uh... can make Dinnapper 3 and Dinnapper 2. A good chance that I will make what? some mods after we finish this update too. Yeah. Find it very hard to what put other... stuff aside. Go ahead. What other DID games do you recommend, if there are any? Um. Well, there's quite a lot in the community. There's um the creator Nadamin is working on a game. Overkill is kind of becoming its own game. Yes. <laughs> so. Uh, the Overkill so for... mod. <laughs> For um, a bit more context, um, Nadamin is working on a sequel to, to um, right. their game, um, and it's kind of like a like a spiritual successor to The Never One in its own right. Um, you can think of it maybe as like a The Never Two alternate universe um, like outcome. Uh, it's also RPG Wait, Maker. No, as in like you know, what if it it was another way to take the the concept of The Never further, right? Like what? it's not in the story, not not story wise. It's I'm it's confused. it's it's never mind. No, it's it's <laughs> RPG Maker too. It's it's pretty similar. Um, otherwise, 
something that's very popular in our in our server um, that we see a lot of people talk about is um, Kinky Dungeon. That one is de developed by um, Ada. Uh, it's a fun traditional roguelike. Um, it focuses very much on uh, getting tied up and losing. So if that's your thing, uh, that's the game for you. Um, Overkill. Two, which is a mod for D2 developed by Wombat, who's been plugging it since the beginning of the stream. So I if you've been paying attention, times. you couldn't have missed it. <laughs> um, like Penn said, it's really kind of becoming its own beast. It's a huge, uh, it's a huge expansion to the escape system, mainly um, with uh, tons of new features. Um, People working on that right now than there are working on this updates. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Um, but if you really want to like keep in the loop with DID games, um, not the company, not the company, but games involving bondage, um, I think the best way is to join our server and like hang out in the the games channel. There's a lot of interesting discourse all the time and like talk about when new games release, etc. Yeah. Um, how long would we estimate the DLC to be? It's like to add lengthwise. Uh, that's a good question. Um, main story, I'd say five-ish hours. So yeah. that would take the main story from fifteen to twenty. Uh, side content, a bunch. <laughs> <laughs> in yeah. in total, I'd say truth about adds about what on average ten-ish hours to a playthrough. Mm. Yeah, like yeah, uh, we that's, had that's probably six more main like chapters. And each of those, I think, is roughly, on average, an hour. It really depends on how quickly you play through, of course, but... Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we've also new new replayability features. We've retooled, um, we've added, like, a New Game Plus m mode that kind of functions like a New Game Plus, but it's through the Story Crystal, and it could be an interesting way to, like, take your current builds and, like, go through the story again. Or try out the new and uh, uh, revamped hard mode if that's what you're into. Uh, it's been completely reworked. You can watch the recording of the previous stream to learn more about that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see here we have six new chapters in here, which we, which we will not hover over. <laughs> no, I'm very yep. careful not to hover over. <laughs> <laughs> will there ever be a sequel to Bonds? Uh, no, sorry. <laughs> No direct sequel to Bonds. Um, we may have thrown an Easter egg in uh, one or two into Truth. Um, you know, play to find out and all that. Yeah. Um, is the new side content mostly in the epilogue and new chapters, or is some spread throughout the original chapters? Um, some of it is accessible uh, throughout the original chapters, right? I think so. Some of the new I'd ones, say it's mostly at the end. Some of the new side content, yes. Um, the side, so like the bigger a... side quests, I don't think are not the ones. No, the new side ones. quests are mostly reserved for the new areas because we're adding new areas and we don't want them to be empty. Right. Um, but all the kinds of like mechanical changes, like for example, the camp interactions are available from the beginning of the game. Um, yeah, stuff like that. Hmm. Um, do the new difficulty changes impact escapes? Yes, right? I don't believe escape difficulty itself has changed. Um, so it, it'll function mostly the same there's, as last. There's a separate setting for that, right? There's puzzles and there's a, like general difficulty, and I uh, believe general difficulty affects combat and escapes. Yeah. So yeah. Ken, I think you're showing off what the new game plus stuff right now. Yep. That's why we're fighting a yeah. level sixty-seven mean. <laughs> and and they still fucking suck. <laughs> yep. <laughs> kind of. Um. Who is your favorite uh, Nepper 2 character? Oh boy, I feel like we've gotten this one before. <laughs> yeah, we can least answer. Least favorite. That's the, that's... Oh, that's a good one. Let's do least favorite, actually. Let's spice favorite? it up. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. 
Um, my least favorite. Of the main Rene. party? <laughs> Rene. <laughs> Celeste. <laughs> Yeah, but um, I hate Celeste. Hmm. It's hard to say. Yeah, I don't like dislike any of them. <laughs> I don't really dislike any of them either. I think my least favorite is the spoiler answer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. I don't know. I I I don't know that I have a least favorite. Honestly, like. I think as soon as you say bias. least favorite, people are gonna hear hate. That's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't hate any of them. No, yeah, I'm either. kidding. Um, <laughs> um. I feel like if anything was like, oh, I didn't like having to implement this section with this, you know, like, yeah, like that. not like a personal attack on the character or something. Yeah. <laughs> like this one was hard to draw or something. Um, like. <laughs> we also have questions that came in through Patreon that we can address while waiting for other ones. Oh, what? Oh. Um, given this will be your last Didnapper game, what will the post game be like for D2 after you are done? Um, so there are, there, truth, I mean, of course, there's the base game post game. Um, which is already in um, the Napper 2. Truth will also be adding some mainly mainly combat oriented stuff. So like super bosses, which we feel is a JRPG staple. Um, we'll have a couple of those to like really try to challenge you. And yeah. My lady. Um, can can you handle the questions for a second? My my Chinese food is here. <laughs> All right. I'll be right um, back. Let's see. Back. Why is Zara a pirate? Um, because she's totally not a pirate, guys. Trust. <laughs> um, another question from Patreon. Um, da, 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 da. Let's see. Uh, is our next project going to... Okay, that's another next project-related question. Um, so... Unfortunately, we're not going to talk too much about that right now. Um, and it is mostly dried up otherwise. Are we just waiting for Pen to come back with her fried rice? We do not have, we already, have we already started working on the new project? Yes, um, we've started pre-production, so like planning um, some like base designs and stuff. So we have some of the work done. We're not super far in, and we're really focusing right now on trying to get um, truth out um, the best we can. Can you give a hint to the genre? Um, yes, no. Um, what I what I, what we can say, what we will say, is that it'll have. Um, no combat. We really wanted to work uh, shift gears completely from D2 in that regard and work on something that had no fighting. I'm back. Welcome also, back. Also, it's also not going to be a JRPG. <sighs> yes, uh, we're, yes, it's <laughs> not something different, <laughs> something that we haven't done before, and something combatless. Yeah, still animus style though. Yeah. Ah, uh, does Suki have anything to do with truth? No. No. <laughs> yeah, Suki will not... Let me let me go ahead and preface this. Yeah. Suki will not be appearing in The Napper 2. Um, this has been covered several times. Um, it's just... We we don't feel comfortable um, implementing we Suki. We weren't just trying to pull a fast one on you and save it for the end or something. Yeah, no, this isn't like a fake... Yeah. Um, a, a fake out. There There is no Suki. Um, so please do not expect that. I saw a question earlier, I believe, that wasn't addressed from um, Boulder, I think it was, um, oh. if the Game Boy game will get a sequel. Um, <laughs> on it, I, so, I saw for a bit it, of but I didn't, I didn't think it was. I think it's, I think it's worth addressing. Um, for right. a bit of context, uh, a couple months ago I released a Game Boy game called Master Thief Lena. You can get it off of our itch page. Um, uh, it was a lot of weird work. Um, I don't know if I'd be interested in working on the Game Boy again, frankly, because 
us. <laughs> it's honestly kind of a fucking miracle they got Pokemon onto the Game Boy. I'm not gonna lie. Um, <laughs> so probably not, but we might do other little projects like on the side. Um, that's that's possible. Um. Usually, dev teams focus on a single genre or style. How difficult has it been to shift genres between Bonds, Did Emperor, and Future stuff? Um, I wouldn't say it's been difficult. Because... No, we. I mean, the, the the despite having different genres, we do have common threads between our games. Is that they're very narrative and character heavy. So, and that's really the meat, I think, of the games we make. Um, in that regard, Bonds, D2, even the like prospective next project are all similar in that sense. Um, genre, genre isn't too much of an issue because, believe it or not, most of us on the team like playing video games and play lots of different video games. So it's it's something we don't have too much issue like going between. Mm -hmm. For me, music is music, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, code is code. <laughs> right, art is art. Like you know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think we did a decent job with Bonds, despite not having played a lot of Vians before. At least I hadn't. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, Kendra doesn't play video games. I have. Secret. I have played many Vians. The Bond is a terrible Vian. I've got to say. Who who um, was who had the idea of making a Vian in RPG Maker? Oh, yeah, that, yeah. That wasn't we don't talk about that. We don't talk about that. Um, did we add or alter anything about the CRC escapes? I think is there a new there's a new CRC so, escape, right? There are I don't believe there are new CRC escapes. There no. might be some new escape challenges somewhere in the world, um, in truth. But you'll have to play to find out. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Spoiler. Um, 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 what events happened that made you come up with the, the idea for the game, like Didnapper? Um, uh, puber puberty? For like, me. all the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a difficult question to answer, because you mean, like, just this game, or like, all the way in the beginning? Because that's a... It's a long... Yeah. But I mean, the short um, answer is puberty. <laughs> I thought, yeah, I mean, I yeah. Um, if questions are drying up, we can take one last one. Sure. Um, if you could inject DID game into any other game, what game would it be? Skyrim. What? I think he said Skyrim. Skyrim? Well, boy, do I have good news for you. <laughs> <laughs> and to any other existing game. Uh... Mm, that's a tough one, because I don't think many of the games I like playing would do well with the idea. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's kind of the thing, right? It's just like, do you just mean like a DID scene in a random game? <laughs> Breath of the Wild? How Breath does that work? What the fuck? Actually, yes, Zelda. Because... Yes, you think that's okay? Yeah, she just because... wants to see Long. I want to see. Yeah, I want to see. Yeah, I mean, okay. Well, it's uh, not okay. DID, but... but do I? Do I care? I don't care. I, <laughs> yeah, want... okay. I, I, want... I see we. <laughs> I want. I do want tied up Long, so I'll. I'll pick Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom. Let's open up. Uh, some recently played games. Uh. Oh, Okay, I will say this. Um, I think I, I I genuinely think a DID fighting game would be funny, but the issue is that nobody can make that because nobody's gonna fucking play it. Um, play it. It's not that be good. It can be funny, but not good. No, I mean you can. I think there are. There's a case to be made for interesting mechanics you could do with combat. Like, okay, well, make make the case. I'm watching. Well. 
limiting the opponent's move set by like binding specific parts and having to you know on the fly adjust your combos and your strategy i think is genuinely a good pitch um no because a... people play fighting games by button mashing see that's the problem nobody fucking plays fighting games um, <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, people the people the the, the, in, the the intersection of people who play fighting games and people who are going to play did games online with strangers is zero it's null but i think it would be funny uh -uh. i think there's i think it's combat. interesting okay there's combat wombat okay there's one, <laughs> there's one. <laughs> Anybody else have an answer to this question? I see somebody saying, imagine DID in Minecraft. Somebody imagined it so hard that they got a cease and desist from Mojang. <laughs> Pain. That was a thing. <laughs> oh yeah, no, that was a thing. It was also a completely bullshit letter. I read it and it's just, it's just bullying. It's just corporate bullying. Mm -hmm. All right. It was UT, yeah. Don't even have the ID in Minecraft. <laughs> Shaking my head. <laughs> my answer would be Rocket League. No, wait. Um, I meant. Do you, what? <laughs> do, do you play any other games? <laughs> <laughs> Final Fantasy Seven Remake series. Is that a better answer? <laughs> yeah. Don't you play Hunter? <laughs> Put the ID in Genshin Impact and Honkai Star Rail and all the other gadgets. Yeah, I only have boring answers right. like that. Um, with that, I think that's about it. Yeah, I um, think the we can call the stream. Um, yeah. Thanks a lot, everybody, for dropping by, um, checking out our progress, uh, getting excited for truth. Um, we're getting close. Only two-ish more months left. Um, there will be one more mm -hmm. uh, stream next month, um, for which I will not reveal the oh, cover yeah. art this time what do you want to talk uh, about what it's going to be about yeah i'll talk about what it, it's it'll mostly focus around different story aspects so no spoilers or only minor spoilers we'll probably play through um a new uh, a character side quest um maybe one that we've shown off before for example like eileen's um maybe go into our approach regarding story and also just generally the different the the vibe truth will have like what to expect going in um without revealing anything um except maybe a little little bit of the beginning of uh, the first truth chapter so yeah and mm -hmm. i think that about covers it thanks everybody for joining and stay kinky yeah okay. like and subscribe <laughs> and share with your friends and family and <laughs> yeah, right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. <laughs>